healthy one right now. Let's start cooking. It smells really good oh, in here. Me. And you know, soup <laughs> is my favorite food. It even says so on my Twitter profile. There's nothing like a well, hot then it's bowl official, Brooke. on a cold day or when you're sick or just whenever. So instead of just, you know, grabbing the can opener and warming up a can, well, you can do two things. You can make your own or you can buy some really good soup. Kate Brown is here from Boulder Organic. So she's going to show us how to make it, and they also happen to sell stuff that doesn't need a can opener that's, that's going to be better for you. That's right. Non-processed, right? That's right. That's right. It's just like homemade soup. It's fresh, organic, gluten-free soup, and it's available in uh, the prepared foods refrigeration uh, section, uh, you know, the deli section of your grocery store. And it's local, which I love. And it's local. Oh, man. Yes, and it's delicious. <laughs> We're making what happens to be my favorite kind, a lot of people's favorite kind this time of year, the butternut squash. Yes, it's a great time of year uh, to, for soup because we just got through the first round of really heavy eating for uh -huh. Thanksgiving. People want to lighten things up a little bit. Um, and it's a great season to talk about butternut squash, which this is a butternut right. squash. You can find it in your grocery store. And butternut squash soup is so easy. Okay, so what's the process here? So the process is the first thing you want to do is cook the butternut squash. And I prefer roasting it. Um, there's a great sweetness in squash. Mm -hmm. And if you roast it, it kind of caramelizes that sugar, uh. kind of gives you this really good earthy sweetness. And you just cut it in half, pop it in the oven, uh, 400 degrees for about an hour, just until it's really fork tender. Um, it's so easy. Maybe just put a little oil on it, salt and pepper. It's, it's so easy. That sounds easy. Yep. And it looks just like this when it comes out of the oven. And while that's cooking, um, I would just say a medium onion, uh, three carrots, and a tart apple. An because, apple. And ah, a tart apple. Because the butternut squash is sweet, but it's also sure. got that kind of starchy, squashy uh, thing going for it. So the apple... It, Kind of adds a little acid to right. it, so we're going to try and go acid. for a little balance so in the flavors. Up? Chop them all up, a lot, a little olive oil, and just saute these. Mm. And you don't have to worry about cooking these too much. You don't want to burn them, but since we're going to puree this, um, these can be, you know, real soft. Okay. Yeah, that's great. And then we pull that uh, squash out of the oven and when it's good to go. Pull the squash out of the oven. You can just scoop it out with a spoon. I have some that's ready here. And you're just going to add it right in. Rock and roll. And then we're going to add in some broth. And with butternut squash, it's it's a very kind of a delicate flavor. And so I recommend using a veggie broth or a chicken okay. broth. Okay. Okay. Um, beef broth just is a little too overpowering. Right, right. So we want to let the, the flavor of the squash be center stage. We can do like uh, the low sodium options yep, and stuff yep. like that. Any, any of the broths or bases okay. that you prefer. So we're just going to put in enough um, just to kind of cover everything that's in there. And now the fun part. Uh, this is an Power immersion tools. blender. This is a great thing to have <laughs> in your I kitchen. Love that. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have one of these in your kitchen, put it on your holiday gift list. Mm -hmm. um, and it's nice because you can blend the soup, you can puree it without having to move it into right. something else. You know, it's hot, so you don't want to be moving it around. So you just put it in there and it's being immersed. And it's being immersed. <laughs> so, so through the magic of television, we can advance this process. It's amazing, yay! isn't it? Finished that. product. So we're going to blend that until it's what I call a velvet texture. Okay. okay. And then this is that wonderful velvety texture. And this is where you can add in your spices. Butternut squash goes great with the you know the pie spices like the nutmeg the sure. cinnamon right. and some salt and pepper or you can go uh, more of the savory spices like thyme uh, sage so you can go either way well oh, you've got bowls yeah, so, so we're gonna, we're gonna bowls, fill so those we're gonna bowls let's taste it you're gonna find this recipe by the way in the good day section of kdvr.com i'm going to eat this jen i there know you'd you love these all gluten free too yes mm, delicious <laughs> Try focusing on the weather when you can smell this wafting your way. All I ask is y'all save mm. me a bowl, please. <laughs> oh, we will. There's plenty. It's so I good. walked back into the studio and mm. said, man, something smells really good. Guys.